up the team and basically just to show my full courageous as to the weight of being lifted in November and to see the energies that the spirits, angels and universe have in store for Capricorn for the week of the 15th of November. So Capricorn, 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 what would the angels, spirits, the universe like Capricorn to know about the week of the... I can hear a magpie up there. And you've got the Seven of Cups. They're the first card. Hmm. Angel, Spirit, Perfect Universe. One more for Capricorn, please. For the week of the 15th of November. Please, November for Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay. <sighs> On the bottom of the deck, we have... Oh, we have the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel will turn in your favour at the end of this week. Fated things might happen to you this week, Capricorn. Um, Seven of Cups. The, you can't bring something down into fruition. In love, it's like sand in your hands, okay? Someone's writing checks they can't cash or they're promising the world and that nothing is, you know, it's like, well, you said you were moving with me, but you didn't move in with me. You said you'd take me on a date, but you didn't go on a date. And, you know, so someone's like, can also mean you've got a lot of options, a lot of um, things open to you, uh, but you're not sure what you want. It's like, or a sweet shop. So what you're doing is, because nothing's been brought down to fruition, no one's owning anything, you decide to work on yourself, work on your own money, self-employment, um, just making, he's making his coin there, and um, maybe you're going to work on deciding or work on bringing something into solid foundation, okay? So, the tower hits, the tower up here is like something out of the blue hits the home. And it's like, it, it could be while you're working on yourself or working at home and something happens. It could be a message from this Knight of Pentacles who's in the past been very, very slow in coming forward and all of a sudden wants to cross a boundary and offer a, something for the future um but you're very very guarded you're like why are you trying to fight me on this why do you want this now why have you come here i'm just minding my own business working on my own and i'm whole i've worked really hard to get up to this platform what is it you actually want what do you want and this is a question for you it's like what do you want capricorn um, these people know they want your platform, but you've worked too hard to get here. So what are they prepared to give? Um, there's, so this brings you to a point of where do I invest my energy? It's another seven. You've got, actually, you've got three sevens here across the board, across like the, this, in this first part of the week in this situation. Seven, seven, seven. Maybe you need to go and work out what that, that angel number is. It's, it's quite a spiritual number. Um, you could have an awakening. It could be something. There's someone offering you something. They may be choosing to invest in you. Okay, with this seven of pentacles. They're putting their energy into you. They want to put come to your platform and put their energy into your self-employment this work that you've been doing into you so you're here saying okay right i've got two choices here i've been given two paths to go on um this thing's come out of the blue just when i was concentrating on what i wanted uh this is this offer um i'm going to allow god to to come in and tell me i'm going to stand here solid and wait for the message wait for the hierophant to come with the commitment and say, I'm handing it up to God, I'm ready to go, whatever you want me to do, I will do. And then the love comes in. <laughs> this twin flame love, eye to eye love, new love, soulmate love, okay? Someone's meeting you on this path.
but you're hanging around, you're waiting, you're still waiting for something, you, you're sacrificing it, because you feel that It's like you can't hold the foundation down. It's like some maybe this tower that hit was something to do with the bills of the house or something. This four of pentacles is letting is can't really let go of all principles because you think you don't have enough stability. Maybe you'll feel that this love will make you unstable. It might be this person's coming towards you, looking you in the eye and saying, well, you might have to wait for me before I can get a foundation, before I can be stable again. Um, or you just don't want to wait anymore because you feel it unearths you. And Capricorn does not like being unearthed. See, we start off with the Eight of Pentacles, sort of trying to choose what you want. This something comes out of the blue it could be bills or something this knight of pentacles comes in might have a row with you but they want to um you're holding your fort you're holding your platform you're saying no there's a boundary here you can't just come in now so this puts you at a place of someone's investing in you someone wants to, where do you invest your energy um and you say god what do you want me to do what do you want me to do what is this commitment Love's coming at you eye to eye, but you might have to wait for it. And this makes you feel, maybe you've dropped guarding your heart, you've dropped the guard, you've dropped the guard. So let's ask the romance angels. It's like maybe you're making them wait because you don't have enough money or you don't feel that you've got a foundation here. You, you feel unearthed by this. Or maybe this person doesn't have enough money for you. Um, because it drops to the seven and drops to the four. They're off, it's like they're offering checks they can't cash. It's, are they lying? Because you were doing fine on your own before this person started offering you all this stuff or this investment. or you know, And now it's got to the point where you're quite stable. They're offering love and you're ready to meet them equally. But there's a sacrifice, a spiritual sacrifice because your foundation is rocked. Because you're, you're trying to let go of old principles. <laughs> but you do, if someone doesn't have enough money... Angel spirit guys, what is it? <laughs> we need to tell Capricorn for the week of the 15th of November. You deserve love. Look at this. You deserve love. You are lovable. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person could just need... They do love you, but you might have to make a sacrifice because you can't be left out of pocket, you see. Could they'll unearth it. It's like you're left with... It's like you just can't let go of the old principles. You can't unguard this heart because this person just makes you wait too long or they'll take too long to get the funds together um it's like you've got two paths to choose are you going to choose love they're choosing you angels remember who you are you are a powerful loving and creative child of god you are very loved see it's almost like you don't feel loved enough and maybe you feel like you might have to give this person something to make them love you but have these open conversations Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Capricorn to know about the week? Too many. About the week of the 15th of November for Capricorn. Outdoors. Go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So that hangman stands up, is upside down for a reason. He's about to come back up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He goes down there to work it out, to, to 
under the equator i think it's like jesus cross it's the equator it's the autumn it's the it's the the sun rises again so you you go down to learn sacrifice something so that you can see things from a different perspective with that eagle floating around there you want to go to the down there and well, as above so below you want to see all angles of this love and if it's going to unground you do you want it let's have a look at these there's too many i've got to shuffle again we two more for, okay there we go you are confused right now and indecisive because you do not have enough information do research or seek expert expert advice before making a decision What's the last one? You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inherit inheritance, I was going to say, inhabitants. So you might sacrifice this love on a spiritual thing, on some kind of, to wait to see if it's honest or not. Because you need to help other people. If there's a codependency, you can't just keep helping people get up to your platform because you'll keep dropping down and you keep having to get up again and sacrifice and up again like a phoenix. So have these conversations. You do deserve love. If this person is hedging their bets in that seven, then you need to hand it up. Make wise choices. You just, you can't let go yet. But this is love coming towards you. It is, it is love, but it's like you, 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 you're out of pocket again. So, I don't know. It's co there's a codependency. I have a proper conversation about it. Where is this going and why? I have got forgiven and learning stuck on the table here. Um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. It could be just sort of something that you just can't let go of this old rem remembrance of people just using you for your home or your foundation. That could be the codependency. Okay, but the wheel is turning your favour. Oh, and I've got the nine of cups under it. So, oh my God, with the empress, I can't even go on. Look at that. So... Hold tight, oh my god, there's a ten of cups. Hold tight, Capricorn. Hold tight, there's a wish coming true and it's fated. Divine timing is at work here. Um, you deserve love. Okay, so I hope I've helped you. Speak to you later. Please like, share and subscribe and bye-bye.